Hey guys, Heat of Essentials here. Today's DIY is gonna be on wall lightings. And I'll be starting off with a foam board that will be covered with a gold contact paper. And the link for this is gonna be down in the description box below. I'll be cutting a round circle from this. And then after that, I will add another shade of gold that I had cut from a cake platter. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I'm gonna keep this aside and then use another leftover piece from another project and this is gonna be in the middle. I'm gonna trace out where the push light is gonna be in the middle. And then after that, I'm going to be applying Mod Podge and Crush Mirror Glass to it. I'll have a link for all the items that I use in this project down in the description box below. Now for the crush mirror glass, this is the one that I have the link for. It's mixed with black, but it gives an overall beautiful look in the end. I let it dry for some hours and then glued it on in the middle. I'm going to keep this aside and then take a decorative centerpiece that I got from Walmart and I'll be cutting this into little leaf pieces. I cut out the shape that I would like to use from a foam board and then traced it on the decorative centerpiece and then I cut out all the shapes that I'll need. I got a chopping mat from the Dollar Tree and I'll be cutting a round shape from it and I'll be attaching the leaf shapes that I just cut to it. This is pretty the way it is, but I was tempted to try out something else. So I got gold leaf trim from Walmart and I attached it to the design. I just cut little pieces and then glued them on all the open spaces.
I'll keep this aside and then cut two circles from a gold contact paper. I attach the contact paper to a poster board to make it really hard and okay for me to use. These are the circles that I cut and they're going to be attached to the design that I just made. I got corner braces that I spray painted gold and this is going to be used to attach the design that I just made to the base. I got this piece from a hard book cover and I'm going to cut it down to size and use it to connect the design that I just made to the corner braces. When I was done, I attached the push lights inside and then attached a hook at the back for hanging. I covered up the rough parts at the top with gems. This is an interesting and unique wall sconce. Now another idea in using the decorative centerpiece will be to use it as a lighted wall decor. Now I'm going to use the same piece that I used in cutting out the shape from the decorative centerpiece to cut out shapes from a poster board that has already been covered with gold contact paper and the back has a gold color. I got this poster board from Michael's Craft Store. I'll be using stem wire that I spray painted gold and a decorative wooden stick that I also spray painted gold. I'll be using these to make a branch design. Now this can be a lot easier if you just go out and plug a branch off from a tree. Or you can have interesting shapes lying around on the floor. Now the thing is, whichever branch you're gonna use, you have to get it treated, spray paint it, and then work around it. Talking about the stem wires, you can also join two together. This is too straight, so I'm going to bend it just a bit and then use stem wires around it and use hot glue as well. Now it is time to start gluing on the cutout pieces to the stem wires and the wooden piece. I added the golden pieces after I was done with the other pieces. Now this is what it looks like mounted on a wall. It looks like an actual tree branch. I added lighting at the back and also used the hook to mount it on the wall. I hope you all like this idea on how I use this decorative centerpiece for the items that I just made. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends and families as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.